Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all of you So now we will continue our lecture 2 with the title Vibration as Diagnostic Tool So before we start, let's watch a video about Vibration Diagnostic What is Vibration Diagnostics? It is a major part of condition monitoring programs over the years, vibration diagnostics has proven to be the most effective method for checking machinery health. Vibration diagnostics tools are here to help us to predict machine failures. When condition monitoring is applied and the machines are checked regularly, machine faults can be discovered at an early stage and appropriate action can be taken. By doing so, you can avoid unexpected machine shutdowns and you can avoid replacing parts which are still in good condition. How does it work? Running machines generate vibrations, which contain a lot of information about their condition. A vibration meter or analyzer is used to measure this vibration. The sensor needs to be mounted on an appropriate point on the machine e.g. bearing housing. The instrument measures the vibration signal, tells you the severity of the vibrations and also possible machine faults. The most frequent faults are bearing faults, unbalance, misalignment and loose. Okay, now we hear vibration sound generated by the machine. So, I mentioned a moment ago that vibration lets us see inside the machine, so to speak. So, you know, if you just listen to a machine, it might make a sound like this. And hopefully you can hear that okay, and the pump may make a certain sound. That's not a very healthy sounding pump. But what vibration anal analysis allows us to do is break that sound up into all its individual components because those individual frequencies actually relate to different components within the machine. And as those frequency components change, it provides an indication of whether there's a problem with the bearings, or the rotor bars, or the shaft, which could be misalignment, unbalanced, or anything like that. Now, I'm just simulating the sounds. They'd be actually more pure than that in reality. But if there was a problem with the bearing, Okay, we're just listening to it, but the vibration pattern would change. If there was a problem with the um, alignment and balance, if the sharp was bent or something like that, we would see it. If there was a cavitation problem, well, we would be able to detect that through vibration analysis as well. And if there was a problem on the machine head... Okay, now... Every machine is vibrates. Okay, as you can see from this picture, there are um, uh, many of uh, sensor placed at the machine body to measure the vibration signal. And the second picture showing that vibration specialist doing a monitoring uh, process of uh, pump. Okay, so what is vibration analysis? So vibration analysis is verifying the actual performance versus design parameter of new mechanical process and manufacturing equipment. So there uh, must be a standard that a vibration spe specialist have to uh, monitor so that uh, every machine not exceeded the limit that has been set. Okay, next vibration technically defined as the oscillation of an object about its position at rest so as you can see from this uh, diagram so the external force f move the mass forward okay and the spring is stretched so the oil uh, from the front of the piston will move to the back through the small opening okay and the force F has to overcome the initia of the M, the stiffness of the spring key, and resistance due to 
uh, force flow oil or the damping C of the dash pot. So, M, K and C. Okay, inherent characteristic of a machine or structure which will resist or oppose vibration. Okay, next, this slide showing a simple harmonic wave. Okay, there are a point A until a point H. Okay, and we can measure a time and also a phase. Okay, during measurement, uh, there are three types of uh, measurement in amplitude, which is displacement, measured in millimeter, velocity, measured in millimeter per second, and acceleration, measured in G or millimeter per second squared. And what is vibration frequency? Vibration frequency is how often the movement occurred or how many cycle in period of time and the unit is hertz or cycle per minute okay this is the equation uh, representing the basic uh, vibration uh, signal okay so x equal to x naught sine omega t uh, which omega equal to 2 pi f so x is a displacement at a given time x naught is a maximum displacement okay uh, f is a frequency and t is time okay so what is torsional vibration so every mechanical system that rotates and transmit power is subject to a torsional behavior so uh, for every rotation any point on the circumference of a shaft quickly cover angular distance of 360 degrees to complete one rotation so the rate at which it rotate is called angular velocity so uh, phase uh, is measured of the relative uh, timing between uh, two signal so for example this is uh, a heavy spot and this is the uh, first signal and second signal so two transducers on the rotating shaft okay the transducer on the front face is measuring the motion of the shaft whereas the transducer on the area in the rear face is looking at the keyway okay so if the shaft has a heavy spot heavy spot so this create an imbalance and cause the shaft center of mass to move away from the geometry okay the first signal and the second signal so uh, there are four basic parts of vibration signal analysis system uh, first is uh, signal pickup or transducer there are many types of uh, transducer such as accelerometer uh, piezo film base uh, microfiber uh, composite base okay and uh, the parameter that uh, the transducer can measure either voltage uh, this uh, distance uh, velocity and acceleration okay uh, the examples of uh, transducer brand is uh, omega uh, uh, and pcb and etc the second uh, part is a uh, signal analyzer okay so the this transducer will be connected to this signal analyzer so uh, from this uh, signal analyzer we can set the sampling rate we can set the uh, period of uh, acquisition okay the, the samples of uh, a signal analyzer brand is uh, uh, national instrument kiwa and etc so third is a uh, an analysis software so normally we will use uh, either open open uh, software or MATLAB and the last part is computer for data analysis and storage this is the device uh, uh, for laptop or computer okay now we will learn about the data acquisition so as I mentioned uh, to you there are three uh, type of measurement for vibration uh, displacement uh, velocity and acceleration so for displacement uh, uh, 
uh, is designed to measure the actual movement okay actual movement of the mechanical pass and the data express the maximum deflection or displacement of the true center line of a machine shaft recorded in terms of uh, mil okay millimeter inch or peak to peak and the displacement probe must be rigidly mounted to a stationary structure to gain accurate repeatable data and useful frequency range is between 10 to 1000 hertz okay or 600 to 60000 rpm so 10 times 60 equal to 600 rpm okay and next is a velocity transducer good so this is the examples of uh, velocity transducer this one is a pickup case and this one is wire coil and this is a damper mass spring and magnet so this example okay and this is the sensitive axis so it designed to monitor casing or relative vibration by measure the rate of displacement not actual the movement like displacement okay and velocity data are normally expressed in terms of uh, inches per second or millimeter per minute and considered as the best method of expressing the energy created by the machine vibration and the effective uh, frequency also same as displacement 10 to 1000 hertz and the limitation is sensitivity to mechanical and thermal damage and it need to calibrate every six months okay uh, next is a uh, accelerometers and this is the accelerometers and accelerometers use a piezoelectric crystal to convert mechanical energy into electrical signal so the data acquired are relative vibration not actual displacement okay and x and can be expressed in terms of g or millimeter per second squared and considered the best method of determining the force created by machine vibration and effective range is uh, much uh, bigger between 1 to 10,000 hertz and uh, however ultra ultrasonic accelerometer are available for frequency up to 1 megahertz okay, and the limitation is susceptible to thermal damage if sufficient heat is allowed to radiate into the crystal it can be damaged or destroyed okay uh, next is signal processing and signal analysis okay uh, so signal is a constant over a period of time or vary with time and there are two types of signal uh, stationary and non-stationary so what the difference between the stationary and non-stationary okay so stationary have a specific distinct frequency component okay example signal from a rotating machine operating at a constant rotational speed okay non-stationary or in other words random signal uh, well characterized by their statistical features such as mean standard deviation variance skewness statistics and so on for example noise produced by raindrops or uh, road surface of the highway okay so uh, the time domain statistical uh, feature or non-stationary non-stationary signal change with time so the most common non-stationary signal is a transient type that is due to an impact uh, like the sound of something falling from a height or slamming door okay next uh, as you can see from here this is the time domain graph and this is the frequency domain uh, graph so to convert from this time domain to this frequency domain we will use fft fast fourier transform okay and next okay this is uh, uh, how to combine between these two signal into this one signal so actually this is the combination signal okay 
the next this is another example of combination uh, between two signal and so this is uh, combination between many signals that available in this uh, time domain and uh, okay signal can be added and deconstructed by signs and it also can be deconstructed okay once a signal is deconstructed we can see and analyze the different frequencies that are pre uh, present in the original signal so so for example if you deconstruct radio wave you can choose which particular frequency and station you want to listen okay and uh, there are uh, two types of frequency domain representation first, it, first is dft discrete Fourier transform and the second is fft uh, fast Fourier transform so dft is deconstruct a signal of the frequency domain component in discrete value where and uh, FFT is optimized implementation of DFT. Okay, so so for example, this is the time domain. There are two signal. Okay, they consist two of uh, two signal, and when we deconstruct into frequency domain, so we will get uh, first first wave and uh, second wave. So same goes to this one. Okay. but this one if you can see the magnitude of uh, uh, the second wave is smaller than the first wave that's why we can get uh, this graph frequency domain okay and then uh, FFT process there are uh, many many things we need to learn about FFT process for example is sampling rate filter lower frequency convert analog to digital and windowing okay what is sampling so sampling is a process of recording the amplitude of a, a wave at given instant and then generating a curve from the recorded point so for example sampling rate let's say sampling rate one uh, 1000 hertz uh, meaning that in one second uh, we will get 1000 data okay and this is the important part nucleus sampling theorem uh, so explaining that if we are not to lose any information contained in a sample signal we must sample at a frequency rate of a, at least twice the highest frequency component of interest okay for example if the machine run at uh, uh, 6000 rpm so uh, so the sampling rate is about uh, uh, 100 hertz so meaning that we need to set uh, sampling rate is is minimum 200 hertz okay so what is anti-aliasing filters so this example low pass electronic filters so which uh, allow low frequency to pass but block high ones okay and next is uh, analog so to convert the uh, analog uh, to digital we will use microprocessor and the signal must be converted into uh, digital for further processing okay and windowing so windowing is a window to the data to minimize signal leakage effect so windowing is the equivalent of multiplying the signal sample by window function of the same length. So it is useful in reducing spectral leakage when using FFT for spectral analysis. So the example of window is uh, Henning, Hemming, and etc. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, next is. Uh, Okay, next is a signal processing. Okay, so areas where the time waveform can provide additional information to that obtained from FFT. So, for low speed application less than 100 RPM. Okay, so an indication of true amplitude in situation where impact occurs such as assessment of the severity of defect in rolling element, bearing and gears. 
and also uh, can be used for lo looseness, roughs, and bits. Okay, so in the case of defects such as unbalanced mis or misalignment, the time waveform will not be an advantage for diagnosis. Normally, uh, we will convert the time waveform into uh, 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 spectrum to for further analysis. Okay, that's all for our lecture 2 and thank you.